Toma. Magandang, magandang, magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Naririto na naman muli ang inyong likod, Patrol Woman Dwi Rose Mertola. Paalala lamang po sa ating mga ka-FB Live, kung kayo po ay may mga katanungan at nais na i-share, maaari kayong mag-iwan ng mensahe sa ating official Facebook page na Police Regional Office 1 at Police Di Amyanan official page. Welcome sa isa na namang edisyon ng Pro 1 FB Live, Keeping You Informed kung saan ang ating pag-uusapan ay patungkol sa napapanamong krisis na ating kinakaharap. At para mas maliwanagan tayo kung ano nga ba itong COVID-19. Ang ating panawing tagapagsalita ngayong araw ay nagtapos sa kurso Nurse Educator for Bachelor of Science in Midwifery, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and Master of Arts in Nursing, National Lecturer for Midwifery and Nursing Board Exam, Member of Sigma Theta Tau International, Honor Society of Nursing. Malugod ko pong pinakikilala sa inyo ang ating panawuhin ay malapit din sa puso niya ang mga polis. Dahil ang puso niya ay pagmamayari po ng kasamahan nating polis. Ma'am Fatima Carzola. Ma'am? This scientific brief is not a systematic review. Rather, it is a consolidation of peer-reviewed materials coming from the WHO and its partners. What is COVID-19? Coronaviruses are large family of viruses causing respiratory illness, ranging from common cold to more serious infections such as MERS-CoV and SARS-CoV. The most common symptoms of coronavirus infections are fever, cough, respiratory symptoms, shortness of breath, and difficulty of breathing. The COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2 is a new strain that has not been previously identified in humans. Last December 31, 2019, WHO was alerted to several cases of pneumonia in Wuhan City, Hubei province of China. At noong, uh, January 7, 2020, Chinese authorities identified a new type of coronavirus. As a of transmission, human-to-human -human transmission has not been confirmed largely in Wuhan City. Not enough information yet to draw a definitive conclusion about the intensity of human-to-human -human transmission. For the signs and symptoms, for the most common symptoms, we have fever, dry cough, tiredness, and for the less common symptoms, we have aches and pains, sore throat, diarrhea, conjunctivitis, headache, loss of taste or smell, a rush in the skin, or discoloration of the fingers and toes. For the serious symptoms, we have difficulty of breathing, shortness of breath, chest pain or pressure, or loss of speech or movement. For the mode of transmission, first we have the contact and droplet transmission. For the droplet transmission, it came from the cough and uh, sneeze or saliva of a person. And for the airborne transmission, it's from aerosols in the air. The transmission of SARS-CoV-2 can occur through direct, direct, indirect, or close contact with infected people through infected secretions such as saliva and respiratory secretions or the respiratory droplets which are expelled when an infected person coughs, sneezes, coughs, or sings. That's from the study of Lou et al. in 2020. And for the indirect contact, we have the fomite transmission. When susceptible host um, holds a contaminated surface from the droplet of that infected person. For the airborne transmission, uh, this is what we call as the aerosols. It is the dissemination of droplet nuclei that remain infectious when suspended in the air over a long period of time. Most specifically, when um, we are in the hospital, where in aerosol generating procedures were done, like for example, your intubations. The possible mechanisms of SARS-CoV-2 transmission uh, occurs through, number one, a number of respiratory droplets that generate microscopic aerosols, you're less than five microns by evaporating or from normal breathing. But the proportion of exhaled droplet, nuclei, or respiratory droplet that evaporate and generate aerosols and the infectious dose of viable SARS-CoV-2 RNA required to cause infection is still unknown. There was an experimental study done and they have generated aerosols by using a high-powered jet nebulizer under controlled laboratory conditions. They have found out that the SARS-CoV-2 RNA in the air could leave their viable or could be viable there in three hours by by the study of Van Dormilen in 2020. In the study of Pierce et al. in 2020, they have found out that 16 hours na nagtatagal din yung virus sa air. But these findings were from experimentally induced aerosols 
that do not reflect normal human calf conditions. So, hindi po yung sabihin na yung product po na experimental study na ito, your findings po nila ay totoo din po sa pang-araw-araw nating buhay. Today, transmission of SARS-CoV-2 by this type of aerosol rose has not been demonstrated. So, studies are done with this. According to Chia et al., some studies conducted in healthcare settings where symptomatic COVID-19 patients were cared for sa mga hospital po, uh, but where aerosol generating procedures were not performed, yung hindi po nila ginagawa yung aerosol generating procedures kahit walang intubation, they have reported the presence of SARS-CoV-2 in air samples. But the quantity of RNA detected was in extremely low numbers kasi uh, in large volumes of air po, lumilit po yung a number ng viral virus. And then, one study found out that in air samples, they have reported the inability, their inability to identify the viable virus. Very, uh, very important for us, it's very important for us to identify the amount or, uh, of the viable virus in the air that could cause possible infection. But according to WHO, those studies have found out uh, the number of viable virus in air samples. So, wala pa rin po talaga. The detection of RNA using your RT-PCR based assays is not necessarily indicative of replication and infection competent or viable virus that could be transmissible to human beings. So, ibig po sabihin niya, hindi ibig sabihin na positive ka po sa RT-PCR, ay viable po yung mga virus na nagagaling sa'yo and yung amount po ng viable virus na yun po na nasa air na nagagaling sa'yo ay nakakapag-infect po sa iba. This explains now, yung mga mag-asawa po na infected yung isa pero yung isa hindi po. Outside medical facilities in the study of Lurk Lurk et al. in 2020, pwede daw infect kayo sa crowded spaces, pwede sa restaurants, pwede sa choir practice, and in fitness classes, in closed areas. For the COVID transmission, viable SARS-CoV-2 and RNA detected by RT-PCR can be found on pwede po sa surfaces for long periods of time, depending on the ambient environment, the humidity, and the temperature. And of course, the type of surface, uh, pinaka-importante po dito doon sa, sa hospital where it, uh, these patients are cared for. People who come into contact with potential infectious surfaces, surfaces often also have close contact with the infectious person. Eh, hindi po natin alam kung saan ba siya na-infect doon sa paghawak po ba niya, doon sa surface na infected na, or nahawa siya doon sa tao na positive na naka-close contact niya. Outside medical facilities, or for other modes of transmission, they have detected that other biological samples po, meron din po, including the urine and the pieces of person, pwede daw po nandun din si SARS-CoV-2 RNA. Kaya lang, wala po silang ipapakita ng mga um, nagkaroon ng SARS-CoV-2 na nahawa po sila sa kain ng tao at saka yung urine nila. For the plasma or serum, they have detected a uh, virus in there. But then again, nakita po nila na ano, the very low yung viral titer. So yung mode of transmission here, very low din po. So wala pa po tayo nababalitaan na nagkaroon ng, uh, nagkaroon ng transmission via the serum or the blood. Currently, uh, there is no evidence po na nagsasabi that there is also the possibility of intrauterine transmission or uh, the fetus inside the womb of the mother being infected from an infected mother. Kaya po sinasabi ng WHO that uh, infected mothers or COVID-19 uh, positive mothers should continue to breastfeed kasi wala po silang nakikita viable the virus po sa breast milk kaya wala po po ng transmission doon po kaya mag-breastfeed pa rin po sila. Evidence to date shows that SARS-CoV-2 is most closely related to known uh, beta-coronaviruses in BAS. So ang ginawa po ng WHO, they went to um, Hubei province last October 2020 to find out really if galing po talaga sa bats ito kasi nakita natin na nag-trending yung mga sabaw-sabaw na may, may bats na, na, na nakita natin na yun daw yung dahilan kung bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng coronavirus ngayon. Then nakita po nila na imposible po na mahawa tayo doon sa mga coronavirus na galing sa bas ang dadagad na kapunta sa tao. There should be the role of that intermediate cost in facilitating the transmission. And, Hindi po nila na-discover pa hanggang ngayon kung ano po ba yung intermediate cost na nag-cost talaga ng transmission from that of the bat to the human, uh, to, to human being. Tapos sabi po nila, current evidence suggests that humans uh, infected with this SARS-CoV-2 ay pwedeng makahawa doon sa mga aso, sa farm pig, sa cats. Pero yung, um, pero yung, ano po, yung animal na makakahawa sa tao po, unclear po yun, pero mas nakakahawa po tayo sa mga animals, mas may possibility po na mahawa yung mga alaga natin sa atin. When do people infected with SARS-CoV-2 infect others? Kailan po tayo nakakahawa? Sabi nila, SARS-CoV-2 RNA can be detected in people one to three days with the highest viral load. So, hindi rin po nila ma-explain kung bakit yung mga ibang tao, um, yung viral load din na mababa, yung iba madami or mataas. But then again, the 
the duration of RT-PCR na ginagawa po sa ating positivity generally appears to be one to two weeks for asymptomatic persons, three weeks doon sa mga vital to moderate cases, at nagpapositive naman ang mas matagal yung mga severe cases. Detection of viral RNA does not necessarily mean that a person is infectious and able to transmit the virus to another person. Inuulit ko po, hindi po dahil um, nagpositive tayo sa RT-PCR, ibig sabihin nakakahawa na po tayo or meron tayong mahahawa. SARS-CoV-2 infected persons with symptoms can infect others primarily through droplets and close contact. That is uh, um, from an isolated study lang po. So now they are doing systematic reviews and randomized controlled trials for, for other vaccines. Uh, and of course, in the future, baka meron na pong meta-analysis na mag-prove sa atin talaga na ito talaga yung mode of transmission. But in China, um, involving 75,465 COVID-19 cases na find out nila na 70 to 85% po na hawak po talaga dahil magkakasama sila sa isang bubo or uh, isang place. Outside the household setting, pwede po tayong mag-infect according to Jack et al. When we have close physical contact, when we share meals with enclosed spaces and with symptomatic cases such as in place of worship, gyms, or workplace, Approximately one hour po, pwede po tayong mahawa kung meron talaga. And that is again an isolated study. Okay? It shows that children are less likely to show clinical symptoms compared to adults because of their defense assistance. But multiple studies have shown that people infect others before they themselves be, uh, became ill according to Lou et al. in 2020. So hindi po natin alam kung yung nag-positive na kasama natin ng RT-PCR, naka-infect na lang iba bago pa siya mag-positive. Kaya po meron tayong contact tracing na ginagawa. Systematic reviews suggest that individuals without symptoms are less likely to transmit the virus than those who develop symptoms. So, as of the moment, uh, tinitingnan po natin yung posibilidad na ano ba talaga, bakit yung symptoma, asymptomatic nakakahawa pa rin ba? Or less ba na nakakahawa kaysa doon sa mga may symptoms? Uh, these are undergoing studies pa rin sa WHO. According to Japan, um, the, the, the possibility of transmission of the SARS-CoV-2 viruses is uh, possible po if we are in closed spaces with insufficient ventilation, if we are conversing in short distances, and if we are on crowded conditions with people. And up to this moment, magwawanir na po tayo dito, uh, there are unanswered questions about the transmission of SARS-CoV-2, like for example, the direct physical or face-to-face -face contact, the transmission, bakit may mga tao asymptomatic pa rin, and the role and extent of airborne transmission, kasi nga po, hindi po nila nakikita yung uh, amount ng viral virus na air na possible na mag-cause po ng infection. And uh, for undergoing research studies and systematic reviews, we are still expecting to gain a better understanding about the relative importance of um, ano ba talaga yung different transmission roles? Droplets ba? Physical contact for mice? Or um, yung role ng aerosol uh, for airborne transmission? Yung importante po dito yung the dose of virus that required for transmission, kaya mahalaga po yung, yung pinag-usapan dito yung ventilation, open air, mga ganyan. The characteristic of people na pwede mag-spread at mahawaan. The proportion of infected people na nagiging asymptomatic. Uh, and yung proportion din ng uh, people na asymptomatic pero nakakahawa. And the specific factors that drive asymptomatic and pre-asymptomatic transmission. And the proportion of all infections that are transmitted from asymptomatic and pre-symptomatic individuals or yung mga taong magkakaroon pa lang po ng symptoms. Pero dahil yun lang po yung meron tayo ngayon na research kasi nga sabi nga nila um, um, SARS-CoV-2 is very new to all of us. Uh, lahat po ng, ng scientists uh, na nasa WHO yung partners nila gumagawa po ng study dahil eto lang yung meron tayo ngayon. We have to maintain um, our health uh, protocols, our basic health protocols, like for example, practice frequent hand hygiene, physical distancing, yung tinatawag natin respiratory etiquette, pag bumahin po tayo, alam po natin kung um, na magkakit ng bunga nga, avoiding overcrowded places as possible, uh, close contact settings, sumiwas po tayo hindi naman kinakailangan, and of course, avoiding um, being confined in enclosed spaces with no ventilation or poor ventilation. And of course, the wearing of fabric masks, um, ang nasa tawag ni Isola po talaga yung surgical mask na sinasabi natin, yung, yung pinag-aaralan nila. But cloth mask is also good. Ensure good environmental ventilation and appropriate environmental cleaning and disinfection sa mga offices po bago pumasok ang mga uh, empleyado. For the home care, still in the WHO, they believe that uh, it's okay to uh, uh, place patient in, at home pa rin po pag infected po sila. Basta lagi silang maghugas ng kamay. There will be good ventilation. Of course, they will be rested. Uh, they should drink plenty of water and of course, uh, eat nutritious food. And of course, 
um, yung respiratory etiquette para wala na pong mahawa sa bahay. For those who care, uh, doon sa tao infected, like for example, uh, meron na sa bahay na positive ng, ng COVID-19, what will you do? Of course, um, hand washing before and after uh, holding the person or pumunta sa kwarto niya or naghawak ng magamit niya. Again, still you have to uh, protect yourself by proper uh, uh, respiratory etiquettes. And of course, avoid exposure. Wag kang pumunta sa kwarto niya kung wala namang importante kung magpahatid ng pagkain, oo. Pero pag, for example, pumunta ka lang doon para nakapag-usap uh, sa kanya, hindi po pwede yun kasi less exposure po para yan, less po yung transmission. And then your last responsibility would be to check uh, on the health of your uh, na to, kapamilya kung sila na rin ba ay na-infect doon sa kapamilya mo na nag-passive sa COVID-19. Yan, ang panalo po dito yung bitbusters po natin, ang dami po natin paniniwala, kaya ngayon ang dami tayo kung magpa- Magpapakuna kasi ang dami natin pinaniniwalaan na galing na po sa kapitbahay. So again, this scientific briefing uh, came from the WHO and the DOH as well uh, to uh, prevent misinformation kasi misleading po yun. Mas, na, mas nalalagay po tayo sa panganin. Then for example, number one, fat. Vitamin and mineral supplements cannot cure COVID-19. Opo, hindi po siya nakakagamot. Pero ang tanong, okay ba nang mag-vitamin sa po ng 1,000 milligrams in a day? Opo, para strengthen the immune system. Pero hindi po siya nakakagamot ng COVID-19. Fat, uh, hydroxychloroquine, uh, yung hydroxychloroquine po, uh, para po sa malaria siya, does not reduce mortality of hospitalized COVID-19 patients. So nakita po nila in a WHO solidar uh, solidar uh, solidarity trial that it didn't show na nag-reduce po siya ng mortality or morbidity of uh, hospitalized clients kaya tinanggal po nila yan. Ang dami po kasi lumabas na mga gamot-gamot, like for example yung mga gamot sa HIV, ganyan. Ang dami pong lumabas, kaya tinignan po nila if this really helps or not. Corticosteroids like your dexamethasone, hydrocortisone, betamethasone, um, sabi po nila are recommended for severe and critically ill COVID-19 patients. So that's a fact. Corticosteroids are recommended for severe only and critically ill COVID-19 patients under medical super, uh, supervision. Hindi po siya pwede doon sa non-severe cases of COVID-19. Kasi ang ginawa po nila dito, randomized controlled trials po ng 7,000 patients nakita nila that this systemic treatment uh, via the intravenous or oral route, pwede po siya makagamot lamang po doon po sa severe and critically ill COVID-19 patients but not for those uh, with non-severe COVID-19 cases. Can people wear mask while exercising? Naging issue po yan. Yung magdijagging ka na may mask ka, nandun ka sa uh, maluwang na lugar, na nagbabay ka na nagbamask ka. Ang sabi mo ng WHO, people should not wear masks when exercising as masks may reduce the ability to breathe comfortably. Pag nabasa po yan ang pawis, mas hindi ka makakahinga at mas magmultiply po ang microorganism. Again, uh, minimum health standards pa rin po ang gagawin natin. Ang pinakamaganda po dyan, social distancing of at least a meter. Fact, water or swimming does not transmit the COVID-19 virus. The COVID-19 virus does not transmit through water while swimming. Uh, huwag ka rin pong nakamask na nagsiswimming. So pwede lang pong magmask if, for example, nag-uusap po kayo nung kasama mo sa swimming doon po sa uh, outside the pool. Can shoes spread the COVID-19 virus? Victima rin po kami dito noon. Lahat po ng sapatos namin nasa labas na. Until such time na lumabas po, nasabi po nila, the likelihood of COVID-19 being spread on shoes and infecting individuals very low. Pero as a precautionary measure, pag may mga bata sa bahay, iwan na lang din po ang sapatos sa labas ng bahay para po uh, maiwasan pag nag-crawl yung bata, hindi po niya ma uh, masasali po yung mga dubigaling po sa sapatos. Fact, COVID-19 is caused by a virus, not by a bacteria. Opo, kaya po mas sinabing virus siya. The virus that causes COVID-19 is the family of viruses called coronavirus. Antibiotics do not work against viruses. Pero ginagawa po kasi, Ginagamit po natin ang antibiotics for uh, bacterial infection as a complication of COVID-19. Kaya naman po sinasabi natin, ang, ang treatment po ng COVID-19 sa hospital is symptomatic. Depende po sa ipapakita ng symptoms ng pasyente. Pero kung nagkaroon po siya ng pneumonia or kung ano man na bacterial infection, pwede po natin gamitin ng antibiotics. But, not, uh, but antibiotics are not used to cure COVID-19 since COVID-19 is caused by a virus. Fact, the prolonged use of medical masks when properly worn, does not cause a CO2 intoxication nor oxygen deficiency, okay? The prolonged use of medical masks can be uncomfortable, however, it does not cause, uh, it does not lead to carbon dioxide intoxication nor oxygen deficiency, okay? So while you wearing a mask, make sure it fits properly and that is tight enough to allow you to breathe normally. Huwag naman po yung ano, 
sobrang pag gumamit ka ng cloth mask, mask sobrang ang tayo po doon sa ears, tapos sobrang ang sakit-sakit na dito, kasi hindi po talaga tayo makakahinga. And palitan po yung mask, pag naging damp na po yun, medyo nabasa na po ng laway natin, papalitan na po natin, huwag po natin i-reads. Fact, most uh, people who get COVID-19 recover from it, opo, yun po yung masarap sa uh, pagpadinig ng tao. Most people who get COVID-19 have mild or moderate symptoms and can recover. And of course, thanks to supportive care. Kasi minsan nakita natin may COVID-19 pero nag quarantine pero gumaling. But if you feel something na par kapareho po ng COVID-19 symptoms, um, tumawag po tayo sa hospital. Huwag po tayo pumunta ka agad doon. Tumawag po agad tayo para sabihin natin sa kanila kung ano yung nararamdaman natin. So they could decide if we will be admitted or not. Fact. Yan po, drinking alcohol does not protect you against COVID-19 and it can be dangerous. Again, yung iba po sinasabi nila nun, uh, in pile ng gene kasi nakakagalaw po, nakakagaling doon ng COVID-19. Hindi po, the harmful use of alcohol increases the risk of your uh, of uh, you getting another health problem. Fact, adding pepper to your soup or other meals does not prevent or cure COVID-19. Hot peppers in your food, uh, though very tasty, cannot prevent or cure COVID-19 again. Ang kailangan natin po dito, minimum health standards. Fact, COVID-19 is uh, transmitted through house flies. Ito pa. Ang tanong sa akin ng studyante ko, mapag ba kinagat uh, ng lamok yung may positive na COVID at kinagat din ako, matatransmit ba yung COVID mam via the lamok? Today, there is no evidence or information to suggest that COVID-19 virus is transmitted through house flies. Okay? Drop that pa rin po tayo, direct, direct on back end for my transmission. Fact, spraying or introducing bleach or another disinfectant into your body will not protect you against COVID-19 and can be dangerous. Nabalitaan niyo po yung nurse yata na sinabuyan po ng, hindi ko alam kung chlorine po yun or ano po, disinfectant para lang doon matanggal yung virus na katawan niya na nakuha niya sa hospital. Uh, wag po ganun kasi do not, uh, under any circumstance, spray or introduce bleach or any other disinfectant into your body because these are poisonous and could irritate your skin and eyes. Yung bleach po at saka disinfectant po na gamit natin sa bahay para lang po sa mga surfaces where there is a possibility of fomite transmission. Fact, drinking methanol, ethanol, or bleach does not prevent or cure COVID-19 and can be extremely dangerous. Yan po, drinking them can lead to disability and death and could damage your internal organs. Wag po. Fact, Ito na ulit yung lumalabas ngayon. 5G mobile networks do not spread COVID-19. Again, viruses cannot travel on really waves mobile networks. At hindi po natin nakikita sa mga bansa na gumagamit ng 5G na dahil sa 5G nag-iintis po yung kanilang COVID-19 cases wala pong ganon. So, it's not safe to, to tell na yung 5G mobile networks ang nag spread ng COVID-19 kasi hindi po totoo yan according to the WHO. Fact, COVID-19 can be transmitted in areas with hot and humid climates. Okay, it can be transmitted in any climate, including areas with hot and humid weather. Pati po dun sa lamig, kasi cold weather and snow cannot kill the new coronavirus. Kasi nakarin po tayo ng ano nun, hope na sana pagdating ng summer, mamamatay na yung coronavirus. Na sana pagdating ng taglamig, mamamatay na siya. So, hindi po nila napapag-aralan na, na pa kung bakit si coronavirus ang, sa init tumatagal siya, sa lamig tumatagal pa rin siya. Kasi according to science po, pag ang virus po kasi, um, kaya-kaya niyo yung init, medyo pag malamig, nangihina siya. Or pag malamig naman yung kayang-kaya niya, pag mainit, nangihina siya. Pero hindi po gano'n ang nangyayari sa kanya. Very new po kasi siya, kaya kailangan ng mahaba-habang pag-aaral po. Ayan. Yung isa-isa, bumibili po tayo ng hard hand dryers. Are hand dryers effective in killing the new coronavirus? No. Again, to protect yourself, pag, uh, pag kesa bumili po tayo ng hand dryers, gumamit na lang po tayo ng soap or alcohol po to wash our hands. And of course, we, uh, we should dry our uh, hands after washing po. Yan na naman po yung mga binibili natin. In fact, uh, UV lumps should not be used to disinfect hands or other areas of your skin. Uh, nabalitan po natin ang dami na po nagkaroon ng red eyes, yan nasira yung skin dahil po sa UV lights na pinaitry din po nila with the hope na hindi makapasok si COVID-19 sa loob ng bahay. Again, UV radiation can cause skin irritation and to damage your eyes. Again, uh, ang gagamitin na talaga natin dito soap and alcohol para malinis po yung ating kamay. Do vaccines against pneumonia protect you against the new coronavirus? Opo, naging sikat po ito. Paglabas ni corona, everyone of us, nagbaba, bago na po ng antay, pneumonia kasi ito, iniisip po natin na um, hindi po tayo tatamaan ng coronavirus pag nagkakaroon tayo ng pneumonia. No, 
Vaccines against pneumonia, such as your pneumococcal vaccine and hemophilus influenzae, type B vaccine, do not provide protection against the new coronavirus. Hindi po talaga. Hanggang ngayon po pinag-aaralan po po nila kung ano yung pinakamagandang bakuna. Wala pa po talaga. Depende po yan sa level ng randomized control trial kung nasaan na po yung bakuna sa specific na lugar. Can regularly rinsing your nose with saline help prevent infection with the new coronavirus? No. There is no evidence that regularly rinsing the nose with saline has protected people from infection with the new coronavirus. Ito lang po yung ano, nagpapagalit sa common cold but not for the uh, COVID-19. Does the new coronavirus affect older people or are younger people or also susceptible? Hindi po. People of all ages can be infected by the new coronavirus. Okay? Mas lalo po dito yung mga tao may comorbid conditions such as asthma, hypertension, and heart diseases. Kaya po yung iba, pag, for example, meron silang ibang sakit na ganyan, hindi na po dapat naglalabas-labas. Again, another question is, are antibiotics effective in preventing, preventing and treating the new coronavirus? No. Antibiotics do not work against viruses, only bacteria again. Antibiotics should not be used as means of prevention and treatment. Ginagamit lang po ito if there are bacterial complications of COVID-19. So ang tanong, where are we now? Dami na po natin alam about COVID-19. Kaliwat kanan po yung nakakarating sa atin. Gabi man yan, araw yan, madaling araw, meron pa rin ito. So where are we now? According to Erin Ross, last January 30, 2021, what we know so far about the new COVID-19 variants. There are new, uh, now at least three variants of COVID-19 circulating in the US, the UK variant, the Brazil variant, the South African variant, and they have the potential to be game changers and not in a good way. Kasi nakikita po nila ang bilis po mag-mutate. So with this new variants of COVID-19, we have questions in mind, like for example, do we need to change our behavior? Are schools still safe? Will vaccines still work? Are there new variants in the Northwest? Or will things get worse? Ang dami pong tanong. When writing about, about COVID-19, it's normal for news to change even as it's being reported. Kaya wag po kayong magtataka kung yung sinasabi ko po ngayon from the WHO and the DOH magbabago po bukas or mamaya po. Kasi ganyan po talaga. This information and story is up to date, but it represents emerging research. So nothing is written in stone. Wala pa po tayong final na information po ngayon kasi lahat po yan, ginagawa pa po ng uh, madibdibang at uh, research studies. Sabi pa nga nila, a story to change so much while it's being written. So, habang sinasabi ko po ito or habang sinusulat po ng authors itong sinasabi ko, pwede po magbago rin siya. Like for example, the first US case of South African variant of COVID-19 was reported in Thursday morning and on Friday, Oregon researchers announced that they had identified a separate variant from Denmark was found in Oregon again. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Hindi po talaga natin alam kung ano pa yung mas maraming um, uh, information on that. What do we know about the UK variant? So, ang nangyari po kasi dito, pinento po nila um, na yung Prime Minister daw po ng UK kasi nung, nung December, pinagbawalan yung mga tao na kumalat kasi para hindi na kumalat yung uh, COVID-19. Pero ang nangyari po kasi nung uh, nag-strike po sila ng, 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 ng mga tao, bakit may kumakalat? Parang mas maraming nagkumakalat na, na alam ko, parang pneumonia-like symptoms. So nakita po nila na meron ng bago na mutation or variant ang COVID-19. So the UK variant has accounted for 20% of all cases in Belgium, where it is now the most common variant found. Denmark is currently in a strict lockdown, pero nakita po ng mga scientists that even in a lockdown, 70% pa rin po yung paglabo ng case weekly. So, it's more transmissible, yung UK variant po natin. What does that mean for us? According to, to Erin Ross, the UK variant get uh, easier to ourselves. So, mas madali po siyang makapunta po sa ating katawan. 70% more transmissible and 30% more lethal or deadly. How we should change our behavior with the more contagious virus? Yeah, na sabi po nila, now a thicker medically rated mask or the surgical mask may be better, or pwede po some experts recommend doubling of masks for the new uh, variants of the variant uh, of UK might also be deadly. And how does that change things? If this variant does prove to be more deadly than others, 
plans designed to keep the hospital intensive care units from being overrun will need to be adjusted. Diyan po, marami pong pagbabago. Kung mas deadly siya, mas nakakahawa siya, magbabago po ito yung setup natin. Dadamihan yung nurses, dadamihan yung doctors, uh, dadamihan yung equipment na gagamitin po para sa mga pasyente nito. Are there other variants? Where have they been uh, found so far? So we have the Brazil, the South African, and the Denmark, and of course the uh, UK variant. Do vaccines work against these new variants? Hindi ako magpapapakuna kasi may bagong mutation, baka hindi na pwede. Yun yung mga tanong po natin. From the research done on UK variant, it appears that antibodies from people vaccinated against COVID-19 work against the UK variant. So okay siya. For the Moderna na ginagamit po sa US, it works for the South African and the UK variant but not for the Brazilian variant. And even uh, Johnson & Johnson, with, uh, yung Johnson & Johnson po kasi siya yung gumawa ng single dose na vaccine. Yung ibang vaccines po kasi double, uh, double dose or two doses. Um, yung Johnson Johnson po single dose vaccine, 72% effective at preventing severe illness in the U.S. portion of the trial. So ibig sabihin, doon po sa ginawang randomized control trial po, sa U.S. nakita nila na 72% po yung Johnson and Johnson. Pero pagdating po doon sa um, um, variant po na variant po ng South Africa, wala, mababa po siya, 57%. Again, um, the next slide came from the talk of Dr. Dominic Madumba, the Health Promotion Bureau of the uh, Department of Health. So we have now the vaccination, the COVID-19 vaccination program with the general objective of saving lives and mitigating the impact of COVID-19 pandemic with the specific objectives of launching a national vaccination program against COVID-19 and to provide free, ulitin ko po, to provide free and effective high quality vaccines. Yan na naman, patanungin niyo na naman po yung DOH po. Makakagaling ba sa amin yung bakuna? Bakit yung Sinopharm at Sinovac ng China ang bibigin nyo? Uh, mas maganda ba yan kaysa dun sa Moderna? Yung po yung mga tanong po ng mga tao. Again, makita po natin dito kung ano yung ginawa nila and prioritizing the most at risk and most vulnerable populations. Why do we have to be vaccinated? Or why do, we need, uh, why do we need to get vaccinated? Of course, to prevent symptomatic infection, to prevent severe infection, and to prevent, prevent transmission. Hindi naman po ibig sabihin na hindi ka na Pag napakunahan ka, hindi ka na uh, makakawaan. Uh, ito lang po ang nagbibigay. Ang bakuna lang po na ito ay nagbibigay lang po ng 70% na, na immunity. Which vaccines will be used? AstraZeneca, Romagaya, Janssen, uh, Moderna, Novavax, Pfizer, Sinovac, Sinopharm. Again, the independent experts from the FDA will be the one to decide on that. So ano po nang ginawa nila? Who are the expert groups and what do they do? Okay, ito na po. Uh, should the government allow clinical trials? Should we consider it? So, pag sinabi ni Sinopharm, uh, mag-clinical trial kami dyan ng phase 1 uh, for, for uh, our vaccine. So, ang mag-decide po yan yung VEP. Philippine FDA po, ang, mag, uh, ang magsasagot po, is it safe? Uh, is it uh, efficient? Do benefits outweigh the risks? Yan po, sila magsasagot niyan. And for the ITA, should we buy it? So, marami po yung pupuntahan. And then, for the ITA, how should it be delivered to the people? Kasi meron po mga vaccines na um, very sensitive po. Yung positive to the positive A, may mga vaccines na ganyan na pwede pang dumaan sa iba-ibang facilities. But for the vaccine, nakakailangan ninyo ng cold chain na um, negative 70 degrees Celsius, idederetso po yan sa mga facility wherein uh, kailangan po nilang pagbakuna na. Hindi po, hindi po, kailang, hindi po nila ilalagay yan sa iba-ibang facility kasi masasira po yung cold chain. Therefore, yung efficacy po ng bakuna, mababawasan po. The National Adverse Events um, Following Immunization Committee, ito po ang bago. If there are adverse events, is it uh, caused by the vaccine? So meron pong titingin sa atin ng mga mababakunaan kung meron mga tayong adverse reactions, like for example, uh, example severe allergic reactions po. Titingnan po nila yan. The vaccine development and approval. Meron po tayong tinatawag na randomized control trial, systematic reviews, mga meta-analysis po ng mga studies. Like for example, yung pre-clinical trial po na tinatawag natin, mga bakit nakita namin dyan animal studies? Opo, um, yung mga bakuna po na bago po itusok sa atin, yung mga drugs po bago po nila ipa-ingest sa atin, itetesting po nila sa mga um, animals wherein meron pong uh, biological similarities sa tao. Like for example, your guinea pigs, your rats, na pwede po nila itesting po muna doon bago itesting sa tao para titignan po nila kung okay. That's for the pre-clinical trial. For phase 1 clinical trial, gagawin po nila dito yung safety versus those studies in humans. And in phase 2, yung efficacy po, yung effectiveness. And phase 3 po, yun po yung for long-term uh, use 
lalo na po pag may emergency, and yung phase 4 po yung, yung pinakamaganda kung saan matatapos po nila. And then it will answer the question, is it safe and efficacious? The benefits outweigh the risk? Yan po, sasagutin po nila lahat yan. Pag yan po ay um, efficient naman at uh, effective naman siya, and the benefit, uh, benefits will outweigh the risk, bibigyan po yan ng EUA. Um, okay? Yan po yung ibibigyan nilang emergency use of authorization. Pero pag na-complete po nila yung buong phase 3 clinical trial, bibigyan po nila yan ng certificate of product registration. Do we have to pay, pay for anything? Uh, anything? Is it free? Yes. 100% free po. Uh, kasi mga nagkaroon po ng mga, mga balibalita na, ala, ito 2, 6, ito 3, 5, ito 600 lang. Ano kaya ang kaya natin bilhin? So, uh, according to the DOH, it's for free. What are the goals of prioritizing who gets the vaccine first? The primary goal, the maintenance of most uh, critical essential services, again, kasi kailangan po natin mabuhay, direct reduction of morbidity and mortality, bawasan natin yung number ng namamatay at nagkakasakit ng COVID-19, substantially of course to control the transmission, and minimize disruption of social, economic, and security functions para at least, and then of course yung pag-asa natin, the tertiary goal of this vaccination program of the DOH is resumption to near normal. Sana makabalik tayo sa dati na pwede tayong lumabas, pwede natin halikan yung ating mga kaibigan, pwede tayong magkasama ulit. So that's the goal of the vaccination program. For the eligible group A, number one dyan, frontline health workers. Uh, yun po kasi, uh, sila po yung laging na-expose. Indigenous senior citizens, remind, uh, remaining senior citizens, remaining indigenous population, and of course, the uniform personnel kasi naging frontliners din po kayo sa lahat kahit Sinabi polis po kayo, minsan talaga kayo din yung nagiging nurse kasi minsan they have the question po nila kung bakit po kayo yung ano daw contact tracing, ano daw ba ang alam sa COVID-19. Nakalimutan po nila na meron po kayong briefing muna bago kayo pinapalabas. Nakalimutan po nila that most of you po doon sa, well, if not most, uh, some of you po, mas marami po mga nurses na nasa, uh, nasa polis po or natatapos po ng healthcare na, or, na, na puso po. So, nung sinasabi po nila yun, nasaktan po ako bilang asawa ng polis kasi parang, Pinagkasyon nila bakit yung police na nagkontact tracing, anong alam niya. Uh, para sa akin po, kahit ibang profession po tayo, we don't have the right to underestimate po yung kapabilidad ng isang profession para lubawa ng isang bagay kasi hindi naman po kayo kakayaan or isasabak po ng mga boss ninyo pag hindi po kayo trade sa bagay na yun. So, I salute you for uh, uh, being with us in, in the fight of COVID-19. For priority eligible group A, kasama din po dito yung public and private facilities, yung medical centers po natin yung mga clinics po natin, yung treatment rehabilitation centers, kasama po dito yung mga monitoring facilities. Kasama din po dito yung mga public health workers, yung mga LGU hired, yung mga contact tracers po natin, kasama po sila, um, yung, yung mga DOH central office, na yung mga attached agencies, kasama po natin sa uh, group A. Kasama din po dito yung mga BHW ng barangay natin na naghihirap sa contact tracing, na tumutulong po sa mga midwives and nurses uh, na nag-contact trace po sa mga infected, uh, possible na infected na tao. Okay, kasama po sila. Priority eligible group A pa rin po, DSWD, DILG, BGMP, VU4, and your PDLs. For B, teachers, social workers, other government workers, um, outside health and education, social welfare sectors, agriculture, food industry, kasama po sila. Transportation and tourism. For uh, those persons deprived of liberty, ito po yata yung mga bilanggo po natin, persons with disability, Filipinos living in high density areas po, kasama po sila. OFWs and remaining workforce. For C, ito po yung all remaining Filipino citizens. Uh, sana po, uh, lahat po tayo mapapunan. When and where will I get vaccinated? Okay, the national government is working part in partnership with LGUs po. Sasabihin po nila kung saan kayo magpapabakuna at kailan po. And uh, please wait for the announcement from your mayor and governor po. What do I do before vaccination? Ano pong gagawin? Yan, magsip-isip ka muna. Huwag ka muna makikipag-usap po sa kapitbahay kasi sa kapitbahay hindi po natin alam kung yung mga sinasabi niya is uh, of context or meron siya talaga uh, na to. Uh, alam tungkol dun sa sinasabi niya. Make sure you obtain accurate information from the right sources. Yan po. Uh, Magdanong po tayo sa mga right sources. Huwag po sa uh, kasama natin na hindi po din alam yun. Okay? And always verify what you read and hear from others. Kung nabalita mo may namatay, hala ba may namatay, magpapapakuna ba ako? So you have to see kung talaga mo yung story ang yun ay totoo po o hindi. On your scheduled health screening, declare your complete medical history. Meron ka bang sakit? Meron ka bang maintenance? 
Pero ito bang ganito lahat po yan? And no person will be scheduled for vaccination without going through health screening. So hindi po pwede. Meron pong naka, ang ginagawa po nila ngayon ay simulation program ng mga, ano po, yung mga healthcare providers po natin. Uh, kung paano nila titignan yung pasyente before na mababakunahan and after na mababakunahan po. When will the vaccines arrive? How do I get them? So ito po first quarter ng 2021. May balita na po tungkol sa bakuna. Maghintay lang po tayo. Can a person choose the brand vaccine that will be given to him or her? Hindi po. The national government will vaccinate based on the prioritization and schedule delivery of the vaccines. If certain Philippine FDA approved brand will be delivered first, kung ano po yung unang-una, it will be automatically be given to the first priority eligible group. Kasi po ang problema po ng WHO, kahapon lang po yung sinabi nila na ano na kulang-kulang yung production ng bakuna. Kaya kung ano po yung na-approve na maupuna, yun po yung unang ibabakuna po sa mga uh, group A. Can a person decline the vaccination? Yes. Okay. Anyone may opt to decline the vaccination by signing a waiver. Okay. Uh, yun po yung ano, mag, mag-give up or mag-forfix sa salat niya. So pag, for example, ayaw mo magpabakuna, natakot ka, titignan mo muna yung effect ng bakuna doon sa mga kasama mo. Tapos, uh, pag naisip mo, ano, magpabakuna na pala ako, ako na lang yung hindi nagpabakuna. So, ang mangyayari po dyan, ikaw na po yung, ano, babakunahan ka pagkatapos ng lahat ng, ng priority group na mabakunahan. Yun po yung disadvantage. Will a person receive the same brand for both doses? Yes. The DOH is coordinating with the local government units to ensure allocation of adequate doses of the same Philippine FDA approved vaccine brand for those get, getting vaccinated. Hindi po pwede Sinopharm sa kabila, tapos Sinovac dun sa, sa pangalawang uh, dose mo. Hindi po pwede ganun. Kailangan po isang brand po ng vaccine. I previously recovered from COVID-19. Do I still need to get vaccinated? Yes. It's still recommended that you get vaccination even if you have already recovered from COVID-19 or kahit naniniwala ka na meron ka ng antibodies for COVID-19, magpapapakuna ka pa rin po. Do I need to get tested before getting vaccinated? No. Before and after uh, vaccination, wala pong testing. What to do during vaccination? Una po sa lahat, sign, assign the informed consent. Okay? Informed consent po, kasama na po dyan yung mask mo, face shield mo, dapat okay ka. And then, uh, sign the informed consent and of course, uh, nandun nakalagay po yung benefits and risk of the vaccine and um, that you are willing to be vaccinated. What do I do after vaccination? Usual symptoms, uh, like ng ibang bakuna po, pain, redness, swelling on the injection site, as well as flu-like symptoms. But for example, in 24 hours, nakikita mo na parang padala yung mga sintomas, tumawag ka na po sa, sa healthcare provider kung ano yung nangyayari sa'yo para masabi mo yung mga nararamdaman mo. Baka may mga untoward na effects na po. What to do after vaccination? Most COVID-19 vaccines offer protection after two doses. Yung si Johnson and Johnson lang po ang nakagawa ng one dose. Complete the second dose even if you experience some unusual, uh, uh, some unusual symptoms. Pero pag sinabi po nung, ano, nung healthcare provider na hindi ka na pwede sa pangalawang dose, yun lang po yung time na hindi ka uh, magpapangalawang dose. Baka ang tanungin niyo po, ma'am, pag for example, health first dose ako pero tinamad na ako ng second dose, wala po effect po yung bakuna, hindi po po makukuha yung immunity na sinasabi nila kung hindi po po tatapusin yung pangalawang dose, kung uh, dalawang dose po yung bakuna na yun. On the day of the vaccination, healthcare workers will monitor you 30 minutes to 1 hour before you can go home. And ang maganda po dito, sabi po ng DOH, all vaccinated Filipinos will be monitored for 12 months after getting the shot. So medyo natakot po yung iba dito, bakit ang tagal? Bakit ganito katagal yung monitoring? Kasi nga po, um, lahat po ng bakuna na meron tayo ngayon ay hindi po yung talagang matagal na ginawa. Pero uh, then again, ginawa po nilang, uh, nagkaroon po ng mga randomized control trials and systematic reviews on this. Uh, uh, yung mga ibang studies po, okay naman po, safe naman po sila. Adverse events following immunization will be monitored strictly by health professionals. If hospitalization is needed, pag nagkaroon ng adverse e- uh, events po, pagkatapos ng bakuna, magagamit pa rin po natin yung PhilHealth, uh, ano natin, PhilHealth po natin. And during master listing profiling, PhilHealth will provide registration desks on site. Para po magamit po natin siya. After vaccination, can I go back to not wearing face masks and shields? No. The COVID-19 vaccine is just an additional tool to protect ourselves from COVID-19. Even after vaccination, you need to practice a minimum of public health standards not to provide, and to provide continued protection for yourself and family. So, hindi po ibig sabihin na pag nabakuna na po tayo, uh, pwede na po tayo gumawa ng mga bagay-bagay na natin natin ginagawa. Hindi pa rin po. Until such time na, uh, sana may eradicate po COVID-19. How do I ensure that vaccines, that the vaccines I get are authentic? Again, dumaan po yun sa randomized controlled trial. So, if it's approved by the FDA, pag nabigyan po siya ng EUA po, uh, okay naman po, generally it's safe. 
kanina lang po ito from the WHO according to the UNICEF Executive Director uh, Her Henrietta Four and WHO Director General Dr. Tedros Ghebreyesus sabi niya, sabi nila in the COVID-19 vaccine race we either win together or lose together as of today almost 130 countries with 2.5 billion people are yet to administer a single dose yun po, and yet nagkukulang na po yata tayo sa production ng vaccine. This self-defeating strategy will cost lives and livelihoods. Give the virus further opportunity to mutate and evade vaccine and will undermine a global economic recovery. So, yun po yung iniisip po nila, ba't ang tagal, ganyan po, baka magkulang tayo sa bakuna, ganyan po. Um, according to uh, Dr. Jeffrey Reboron, the COVID-19 pandemic will only affect us if we let our guards down. And during this pandemic, we can stay at home, have ourselves vaccinated once it's available, and continue observing health protocols so that we will not contract the virus. Thank you and good day. Ayan. Thank you, ma. May ma. Ayan, from stations pa rin po. Hit lang naman sila. Siguro aware na din sila dito sa ating COVID-19. Addition lang po yung dun sa vaccine, di ba po ma'am? So, may tanong lang po yung dun sa vaccine. Ano daw po yung vaccine na may lawag dito sa atin? Wala pang, as of kanina po, wala pa pong sinasabi na, na may dumating na po or magagamit po tayo. Hintayin po natin yung final announcement po coming from the DOH po. So ayun nga po mga ka-FB Live, na may may natutunan po tayo muli sa tulong ni Ma'am Carsola tungkol dito sa COVID-19. Ayan. So gaya po ng programa ng ating Chief PNP na Project Care, uh, ganun pa rin po, mag huwag pa rin po tayo magpakampate, mag-ingat pa rin po tayo palagi. Ayan. Maraming maraming salamat din po sa ating mga taga-subaybay mga ka-FB Live. Sa inyong pagsubaybaya, magkita-kita po muli tayo sa susunod nating edisyon ng Pro1 FB Live, keeping you informed.